In this problem, we have a cylinder that is of the same cross-sectional area throughout its length. Its length is 2 meters, and its radius, r, is 1.25 centimeters. Now we're trying to find the resistance of this cylinder between its ends. Because the resistivity is non-uniform, once again, we're going to have to slice this cylinder into disks. Thickness of the disks will be dx. Now the formula for resistance that's on the formula sheet, R is rho L over A. We turn this into an integral now, where rho is a function of x, L becomes the thickness of that little disk, and A is a finite A, but now A is constant throughout this entire cylinder, so A can come out of the integral. And basically we're just integrating rho of x dx from 0 to L, where L equals 2. All right, so let's put the function into the integral. Move 1 over a out. So we're basically integrating a plus bx dx from 0 to l. That's a simple integral. We get a times l plus bl squared over 2. I'm putting in 0 gives us 0. Okay. Now we don't know a and b, but we do have the endpoint resistivities. So we know that the resistivity at x equals 0 is 20 nano ohm meters. And we know at this end, the resistivity at L is equal to 40 nano ohm meters. That will allow us to find A and B, the constants in the resistivity formula. So let's go ahead and do that. So rho of 0 is 20 nano ohm meters, and that's equal to A plus B times 0. And so that gives us A. Rho at L, subbing in L into the formula, 20 nano ohm meters must equal A plus B times L. And we already know A, so that's 20 plus B, and L is 2 meters. So this allows us to calculate B. B must be 40 minus 20 divided by 2, which is 10 nano ohms. Okay, so we can go ahead now and sub these values into our formula for the resistance. The area is pi times 1.25 centimeters. We have to convert that to meters squared. A is 20 nano ohm meters. L is 2 meters. Plus B, 10 nano ohms over 2 times L squared, 2 meters squared. And if you put all those values in, you get 0 0.12 milli ohms. And that's the answer for the resistance.